morning, guys. I want to start off by saying how fortunate I feel to have been able to work with a man like Peter. I think that everyone that came into his orbit is better for having no man of God to the Lord since his lot of commitment to us. I've only known Peter for the last three years, but in those three years, he has shown me so much about what it means to be a true leader. He stayed close and connected to his players, the city of San Diego, and to his fans. During my contract negotiations, Peter and I were in about quite a few personal conversations, some of which took place upstairs in his office, and others in passing in the tunnel's effective part. One conversation in particular is always something. We were talking about expectations that would come with this new contract. He was adamant about this deal not just being a commitment to play baseball to the best of my abilities and help bring a championship to the city, but a commitment to do a whole lot of good for the city of San Diego and for its people. He wanted his players to be involved, engaged with the city and its fans, and he always stressed to me that they are the life of our team and that we should invest as much back in them as they do in us. Growing up at this small park helped me develop my love for the game as a fan, and I've remained a fan to this day. You can do my time playing in Houston and playing in Pittsburgh. I remember having regular calls with my father from across the country discussing the latest top rate movies. I think being a fan is something very powerful. I think it's a form of escapism for a lot of us. It's a chance for us to step away from the craziness of our daily lives and get lost in the enjoyment of the game. A chance to put on the jersey of your favorite player and go cheer with 45,000 other strangers who are all part of the family and represent the team that they feel connected to. It can bring you unforgettable highs, like the comeback in Game 4 of the 2022 LDS against the Dodgers on a rainy Saturday night at the park. And as quick as it brings you joy, it can also break your heart when you get knocked out of the NLCS a few wins shy of a shot of the World Series. It gives you friends across the world when you see that San Diego hat in an airport and you see someone wearing a trucker off and doing you while on vacation. Peter and his team have given the San Diego Padres fans something they can be proud of. He had a vision of what he wanted and put his money where his mouth as he stepped to the plate. He built a team of people around him that could go get the right pieces to give this city a real shot of winning the World Series and get him what they needed to accomplish that. As players, and I know I can speak on behalf of all my teammates when I say this, we realize the opportunity that we have here in San Diego. For as long as any of us can remember, we wanted the opportunity to play baseball in big leagues. Put on a major league uniform and say that you're good enough to play with the big dogs. As you get older and your skills develop and your confidence grows, your ambition grows as well. You go from wanting to just say that you made it to wanting to win championships. And as any former player knows, the time in this game is limited. Fewer than 10 percent of us will get a chance to play 10 years in the big leagues. And you spend a lifetime of work towards working towards something that, if you're lucky, will give you 10 years to achieve. And as good of a player as you may be, those years might very, might very well be spent on a team that never even sniffs a shot at the playoffs. My point is, every player in that locker room realizes how great of an opportunity we have here in San Diego. That during our short careers, we get to be part of a team that has the firepower that we do, the front office and leadership team that we do, and the ability to play baseball in the best city in the country in front of the best fans of the game. We have an opportunity to accomplish a personal lifelong goal and give the city of San Diego its first world title. All of that is possible because Peter had a vision to change the landscape of baseball in San Diego, and he acted on it. It's an opportunity that we will not take for granted, and something that we will be forever grateful for. And I know that the love Peter had for this city and its team lies deep within the shield on Tom's side of it. And with them and the daily workers of the team, I know this organization is a good thing. So, Next time you're going through your closet to get dressed to head down to Beko Park and you put on that college jersey, let it be a reminder of the information that Peter had in the city. Of how far this organization has come and of the responsibility that we all have of carrying on Peter's legacy with pride. 
Because you can do that knowing that each and every one of us in that clubhouse will be doing the same. Yes.